Hello again. All right. Gosh, it seems like I just saw you guys the other day, right? <laughs> All right. So guys, today we're going to be doing the 4.5 video lesson. This one is going to be shorter. Okay. And what you're going to do today is you're going to learn how to perform and describe dilations on and off of the coordinate graph. Okay. Now dilations means that, oh, wait a minute. You guys know what dilate means, right? When your eyes dilate, it means that it either gets bigger or smaller. So we're going to talk about what the official terms are. So let's go look at our vocab. Okay, the vocabulary right here. Okay, first of all, dilations are similar images, meaning that they are the same shape. They are going to be the same shape, right? But they're going to be a different size. Okay, so again, either bigger or smaller, right? Now, all angle measurements are going to be congruent, but the sides are going to be proportional, meaning that we're going to have what's called a scale factor that we're going to use, okay? Now, <clears throat> the official term, when you enlarge something, you make it bigger, right? Okay, the new image is similar to the pre-image, so if I enlarge something, like if I blow up a balloon, I make it bigger, I enlarge it. Okay, now reduce, make the image smaller, right? So if I take all of the air out of the balloon and I shrink it, that is a reduction, right? Now, the new image is still similar to the pre-image. Okay, <clears throat> now officially, okay, dilation is a transformation in which the pre-image is either enlarged or reduced using a scale factor. And I'm going to talk about what that is here in just a second. Now, we dilate, okay, an image from a fixed point called the center of dilation. So that's like if I were to blow a bubble, right? I can blow a bubble with bubble gum, right? And I can make it go bigger and then smaller. Well, it's coming from my mouth. My mouth is the center of dilation. That's where I'm starting it from, okay? So the center of dilation, that point matters because that's where everything starts from. Now, I want to point something out, okay, that is down here in the box, and that is right here. All right, so ladies and gents, the corresponding points on the pre-image and the image will be collinear with the center of dilation when they're on a graph. Okay, what does collinear mean again? Okay, so hopefully you said they'll all be on the same line. Okay, they'll all be on the same line. And I'm going to show you a picture of what that means here in just a minute. Okay, so let's go and take a look at what is scale factor. Scale factor, guys, that is the ratio of the lengths of corresponding sides on the pre-image or the image. Okay, wait a minute, Miss Smith, what? Right? Okay, so basically, if you guys heard the term, man, that, that thing is like three times as big as I am. Well, that's a scale factor. Three is a scale factor, right? That means that if somebody is three times the size that I am, that means that their arm length is like three times as large as mine. It's longer than mine. Now, scale factors do not have units. Notice I didn't say his arm was like three inches longer than mine, right? I didn't say three feet. I just said three times. Okay, so scale factors do not have units, okay? The units that, are, that we're going to use, they will cancel out, and I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to need to know this formula, if you will. Scale factor, you take a new measurement over the original, or new over old is another way to say it, okay? Let me write that down, okay? You could do new over old a new measurement over the old measurement. Now, when you have a scale factor that is greater than one, that's right here. When your scale factor is greater than one, you have an enlargement, something gets bigger, right? Now, if your scale factor is between zero and one, that means that it's a reduction. So I would say like, he is half the size that I am, right? He's half as tall as I am. Well, one half is between zero and one, okay? Oh, but what happens when your scale factor equals one? Well, when your scale factor equals one, it means that the two objects are congruent. The size didn't change. It didn't get bigger. It didn't get smaller. It stayed the same, okay? 
<clears throat> All right, now, remember I told you guys I was going to show you what this collinear thing looks like, right? Okay, here we go. So, <clears throat> I want you guys to notice, okay, and let me move it to where I'm not in the way. <clears throat> over here, before I talk about negative scale factor, we're going to look over here at positive scale factor, okay? Now, I want you guys to notice this is pointing. Here's our pre-image. And here is our image. It says the scale factor equals two. So if the scale factor equals two, guys, is that an enlargement, a reduction, or is that a congruent figure? Yeah, the scale factor is greater than one, so it's an enlargement, right? The smaller figure got bigger. It's an enlargement. Now, the center of dilation was right here at the origin. That does not always happen, but I want you guys to notice that if the center of dilation the corner of the smaller image and the corner of the larger image are all on this line. They are all collinear, right? So if I were to go from the center of dilation to this point right here, okay, in this corner, and then go out to this corner, notice they're all on the same line. They are collinear, okay? Now, you can have a negative scale factor. And all that means, ladies and gentlemen, is that we change the direction. The image and the pre-image are on opposite sides of the center of dilation, okay? Basically, the pre-image is rotated 180 degrees, okay? So let's look in over here is a negative scale factor. Again, we have the pre-image, but now our scale factor is a negative two. Well, guys, the, the scale factor is still an absolute value of two, so it's still an enlargement, but the negative tells me that we're going to the opposite side of the center of dilation. Notice we're not over here on the same side of the center of dilation. We went to the other side. And if you guys notice, all of the points are still collinear. Okay, this corner right here goes to the center of dilation and then goes to this corner right here. They're all collinear. Okay, same thing for all of these other points. They are all collinear. Okay, so <clears throat> negative scale factor, and you guys might want to write this down. Okay, opposite sides of the center of dilation just means that it changes direction. Okay, changes direction. Okay, now let's look at, let me see here. You know what, guys? I think we're going to go down and we're going to take a look at number five together. So let's go down and look at number five and I'll do an example with you guys about dilations. Okay, so most of you are already probably down at number five, but did you read the instructions? So guys, notice here on the instructions, it says that we need for three through six, we need to use a ruler accurately graph the polygon and its image after a dilation centered at point C. Okay, so point C is, it's given to us, it's right here, okay, with the given scale factor, which is right here. So we need to pay close attention, is our scale factor positive or negative, because that tells us which direction to go, okay? All right, so let's go down and look at number five. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, what we need to do first is to graph the original polygon, the pre-image, okay? So I want you to go graph the pre-image, and that is polygon KLMN, okay? And then after you graph it, come back, and we'll finish up and dilate this thing. Okay, so hopefully your graph looks like mine, okay? So we ended up graph graphing the quadrilateral, now, guys, what we're going to do is we're also going to look at the center of dilation. Our center of dilation at point C is at negative 2, 2. So I need to go ahead and graph that as well. So I got negative 2, positive 2. Right here is my center of dilation. Now, <clears throat> we are going to originate everything that we're going to do from the center of dilation. So dilations are a little bit different than rotations, reflections, and translations because instead of starting at the pre-image, we're gonna start at the center of dilation. Now, one thing that I want you guys to take note of and make yourself a little note, okay? Up here, you might wanna make yourself a little note. 
First thing that you want to do is you always want to look at the scale factor and find out, okay, is it positive or negative? Okay, so look at the scale factor. Is it positive or negative? And guys, if you look, our scale factor is negative. So that means, negative means we're going to be going the opposite direction from the pre-image. Now, let me show you what that means. Okay, so remember I said everything starts at the center of dilation, right? Okay, so if I start at the center of dilation right here, okay, and we're going to go and we're going to do K prime first. So to get to K prime, I need to go from the center of dilation to K. So what we're going to do is we're going to count how many units right and down do we go. So from the center of dilation, I go to the right one, two, three, four units. Now, you might come over to the side, okay, and for K prime, you go to the right four units, okay, and then we go from there, we go down one, two, three, four units. Okay, so then I say I go down four units. Okay, but remember, okay, this is from K to, or from the center of dilation to K. We need to figure out for K prime, we need to go the opposite direction now. So from the center of dilation, instead of going to the right four, I am going to go to the left, but I got to figure out how many units. That's where our scale factor of one half comes into play. Guys, half of four is two. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the left two, and instead of going down four, I'm going to go up half of that, well, half of four is two. So see, what I just did right there is I said, okay, from the center of dilation, guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the left two, one, two, and we're going to go up two, one, two. And right there is our new, and let me go put it right there, right there is K prime. Okay, K prime. Now, I want you guys to notice that, okay, our scale factor is negative. So K and K prime are on opposite sides of the center of dilation, okay? But if I draw in a line between K prime, my center of dilation, and K, they're all on the same line, okay? All right, let's do, well, first of all, guys, we need to write in what is or what are the coordinates for K prime, and that is at negative 4, positive 4. All right, so I'm going to do another one with you before I ask you to do it on your own. Okay, so let's go look at how would we get to L prime. Okay, so from the center of dilation, I go down, okay, I'm going to go down first, and I'm going to go down one, two, three, four, five, six units. I go down six, and then I go to the left, well, one, two, three, four. I go to the left four units. Okay, remember, our, our scale factor is negative. So now we got to go the opposite direction. So to get to L prime, instead of going down six, I'm going to go up, but I'm going to go half that distance. Remember, because our scale factor is one half. So I'm going to go up three. And instead of going to the left four, I'm going to go to the right. Half of four is... Two. So I'm going to go uh, up three and to the right two now. Okay, so we go back to the center of dilation and we go up one, two, three, and to the right one, two. And ladies and gentlemen, right there is our L prime. Okay, I can test it again. L prime, the center of dilation, and L should all be on the same line. And guys, I can test it by lining up my ruler and just seeing are they all on the same line to see. Did I graph it accurately? And yes, L prime is at 0, 5. Okay? All right. We did a couple together. Now, let's do M prime, and I'm going to kind of walk you guys through this. From, to get to M prime, okay, from the center of dilation, okay, I want you guys to tell me, how many units do we go up or down? What do you guys think? How many units do we go up? Yeah, guys, we're, we're going up zero units. We don't go up or down to get from 
C prime to M. It's right here. It's all on the same line. Oh, well then to get to C prime to M, I'm going to go to the left. How many units do we go to the left? Well, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we go eight units to the left. Okay, remember, we're going the opposite direction. So I want to ask you guys to get to M prime. Instead of going up, I need to go down. How many units down should we go to get to M prime? That's right. Guys, if we went zero units to begin with, half of zero is still zero. We're still going to go zero units. Okay, now here's my question to you. I want you guys to tell me, should I now, should I go to the left or should I go to the right? And how many units should we go now? If we go left, how many units should we go? If we go right, how many units should we go? What do you guys think? Okay, hopefully you said, hey, Ms. Smith, originally we went to the left eight units. So since the scale factor is negative, we're going to go to the right. We're going to go the opposite direction. And we're only going to go half the direction since our scale factor is one half. So you should have said, hey, Ms. Smith, we're going to go to the right four units. Okay, so go to the right four units. Remember, you're not going down, right? So go to the right four units and tell me, what is the coordinate for M prime? Okay, so hopefully you guys said, hey, Miss Smith, M prime is out here at two comma two. Okay, because we go to the right four units. All right, now, I'm not gonna set this next one up for you. I want you guys to try this on your own. But what I'm gonna ask you is this, okay? To get from the center of dilation to N, which is our last uh, letter up here, point up here. Okay, I want you guys to tell me <clears throat> how far and which direction do I go to get from C prime to N? I want you guys to try it. Go. Okay. Let's see. Were you on the right track? Did you say, hey, Miss Smith, to get from or to get to N prime, so from the center of dilation, to N, we went up one, two, three, four units, and we went to the left two units. Were you on track? You went up four to the left two. Okay. All right. So if not, double check, see what I did, see if you understand it. And now we're going to try. Now I want you guys to tell me how do I get from the center of dilation to N prime? Right? Remember, your scale factor is negative, and it's one half. So I want you guys to give it a shot. What do you think? All right, let's see if you were on track. Okay, so you should have said, well, Miss Smith, instead of going up four, we're going to go down. Half of four is two. And instead of going to the left two, we're going to go to the right and... Instead of going two units, half of two is one. All right, did you, were you guys on track? Okay, so we go back to the center of dilation. We go down two to the right one, and here is N prime, okay? And that coordinate is negative one, zero. Okay, now, guys, what have I not done yet? What do I still need to do in order to finish this problem? Okay, hopefully you said, hey, Ms. Smith, you need to actually graph the image, right? We need to graph the image. So I am going to connect all of my primes, and I'm going to graph the image. And I have to ask myself, first of all, my scale factor is one half. So did the image get smaller? And yes, it did, okay? Are all of my points on the opposite side of the center of dilation because my scale factor is negative. And yes, they are. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask you guys a question here real quick. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to number three very briefly. Let's go back. Let's see here. 
since my skill factor right here is three, it's a positive three, let me help you guys get set up with A, to go from A to A prime, okay? To go from A to A prime. Okay, so the center of dilation is at one, negative one. Here's my center of dilation, right? And A is at one, two, three, uh, negative one, three, negative one. Here's A. Okay, so I want you guys to tell me, to get from the center of dilation to A, okay? Actually, I'm going to tell you, we don't go up or down. We, we go up zero, right? We don't have to go anywhere, but we go to the right two. Okay, now the reason why I'm helping you guys set up this one is because now for this one, guys, we have a positive scale factor, so that means we're going to go the same direction, okay? So to get to a prime, I'm still going to go up. Well, my scale factor is three, but zero units, zero times three is still zero. And because I'm going the same direction, I'm still going to go to the right. But instead of going two units, guys, how many units do you think I should go instead of two? Yeah, instead of going two units, I'm going to go six units because two times three, our scale factor is three, two times three is six. So now for a prime, I go up zero and then I go to the right, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And here is my A prime. Now, the reason why I'm showing you guys this, notice this is a positive scale factor, and here's the center of dilation, and my pre-image and my image are all on the same side of the center of dilation, okay? All right, so that gives you guys kind of a hint on how to work through some dilations on the graph. Now guys, let's go down and take a look at number seven and let's do one that's not on the graph. All right, I'll see you there. All right, so guys, these are the types of uh, questions that you would see like in the PSAT and the SAT and the ACT, all those tests. Okay, these are the type of questions you would see. So let's talk about what does this look like and how do I figure it out? Okay, first of all, number seven, it says you take a picture on your phone. We do this all the time. Yes, even I do. Okay, most of mine are of my cats, but you know. Okay, now the photo, okay, that you originally take on your phone is two inches by three inches. So guys, if I were to actually draw what that would look like, okay, so the photo on my phone might be like this, right? So it's two inches by three inches, okay? Now, I'm, now that's the photo that I originally took right? Okay, now I want to enlarge the photo. I'm going to have it printed out, and I'm going to enlarge it to a five by seven and a half. Okay, so that might look like this. So if it's, okay, five by seven and a half. So it would be five by seven and a half right there. Okay, now it says, what is the scale factor of this dilation? All right, so guys, I don't know if you remember, but if you don't, you can go back and look at the notes. Okay, scale factor equals the new measurement over the original or new over old. Okay, so the scale factor equals a new measurement over the old measurement, and they have to be from the same corresponding locations, and my units have to be the same, okay? So what that means is this. First of all, I need to decide which one is the new figure, which one is the old figure. So can you guys tell me um, which one is the old or the original figure? Okay, so hopefully you guys said, hey, Ms. Smith, the one that you took on your phone, that's the original, that's the old, which means that the enlargement is our new figure. So I'm going to take a measurement from... Okay, my original, I'm going to take two, and I'm going to then look at the five. Those are in corresponding locations. Those measurements correspond to each other. Okay, so new over old. So I take the new measurement, which is five inches, divided by the old measurement, which is <clears throat> two inches. Okay, guys, notice right here, the inches cancel each other out. An inch over an inch they cancel each other out. 
So our scale factor just ends up being, and yes, your scale factor is going to be a fraction, 5 over 2. And that is a terrible 5, Miss Smith. Let's try that again. 5 over 2. Now, <clears throat> if you put that in your calculator, that ends up being 2.5. So you have to ask yourself, okay, 2.5 is greater than 1. That means that it was supposed to be an enlargement. Yes, that's what it was. Okay, so <clears throat> as a reminder, guys, scale factor, you've got to have the measurements that you do new over old. They have to be in the same units of measure. Okay, now, <clears throat> guys, what we've done, we've practiced a couple of these. We've done some dilations on the graph and off the graph, and dilations are a little bit more confusing than, you know, your rotations and reflections and translations, but that's okay because what does Ms. Smith always say? The more we practice, the better we're going to get at it. Okay, guys, we're going to finish this uh, assignment in class. And as always, have questions, ask them. Until then, see you later.